Hello, I'm Lena Taro. In this video, I'll be showing you how to construct a confidence interval for slope on the TI-8384 calculator. We'll be using an example that's found in Chapter 12, Section 1 of the Practice of Statistics. In this example, we have a random sample of 16 used Ford F-150 Super Crew 4x4 trucks. We'll be entering miles driven and price in dollars. To begin, go to Stat, and go over to edit and in list one enter the miles driven data in list two we'll be entering the price in dollars now that our data is entered we're ready to calculate our confidence interval for the slope to do this hit second mode to quit out of this screen and get back to the home screen then hit stat go over to tests scroll to the very bottom so actually I'm gonna hit the up arrow to get there very quickly choose option G linear regression T interval our X's are stored in list 1 our Y's are in list 2 our frequency is 1 because we've entered each of the values exactly once our confidence level is going to be 0.9 and I've chosen to store my regression equation in Y1 if you're wondering how I got Y1 there I hit bars went to Y vars, chose function, and then hit enter on Y1. Let's do the calculation. Here we see the lower bound and the upper bound on our confidence interval. And since this is a 90% confidence interval, we would say we are 90% confident that the true slope of the regression line is between negative 0.21 or negative 0.28 and negative 0.11. This means that the price in dollars goes down somewhere between 11 and 22 cents on average per extra mile driven. Notice we also have our slope that was calculated for this particular set of data. We have our degrees of freedom. We have our y-intercept. We have our value of s here. This describes the spread of the residuals around the regression line. We also have our coefficient of determination and we have our correlation coefficient. 